Well, hello, everybody. I finally got that interview back from Dr. Mike T. Nelson. It's about an hour long on HRV. We talk about things, not just HRV. We talk about the whole parasympathetic nervous system. We talk about blood pressure, blood pressure medications, its effect on HRV. We talk about magnesium, vitamin D. We talk about a bunch of stuff, uh, sleep. Anyway, I'll be doing a part two in June. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that podcast. I wanted to um, kind of summarize a couple things from the 40-day challenge and just really just emphasize some stuff. Number one, you know, HRV is just one of many tools that we have to measure the body's ability to perform and recover. And uh, using something like the WHOOP is, is great, but... Just in general, guys, the more information we have, the better. The more practices that we have in place, the better. So if we have things in place for our sleep, for our nutrition, for our supplementation, if we have habits when we get up in the morning to move our bodies, train, um, you know, we, we don't make it a choice, right? That's the thing is we, it's mandatory. It's not an option. Um, it's like anything else. It's like, when you raise your children, you brought them to dance class or baseball practice or whatever. You bring your ass to the gym or whatever it is that you need to do. And uh, and that's what's done. And a lot of things are about mod modifying behavior according to the environment, which we've talked about a lot in the past. There's many ways to do this, but there are ways to create success. And so this past 40 day challenge, we focused a lot on HRV as a way of looking at progress and then modifying behavior to see what your HRV would do over time. I have a sneaking suspicion that WHOOP uses algorithms for HRV as well. I think it has a lot to do with your resting heart rate, how much sleep you got at night, what your activity was like the day before, um, as well as your sleeping patterns in general, like how much you slept in REM and deep and all that. And even if that is the case, <clears throat> even if it is merely an algorithm, it is still information. Uh, certainly not a flawless piece of information, but it will give you information over time. And the idea was, can you use these practices to improve your HRV over time? More importantly, do you feel it in your training and in your performance over time by implementing the things that we've discussed, not just in this 40 day challenge, but all of the other 40 day challenges in the past, as well as the, thi as the things that I've tried to touch on in that interview with Mike, which obviously you guys may have recognized that I'm simply trying to touch on things that we've talked about so much um, over the years and get his opinion on it. The reason why I'm doing a part two is because I just have my own questions about things that I wanted to get his thoughts and opinions on in terms of performance and and um, and just overall health. So hopefully uh, you guys were able to extract some information from this past 40 day challenge, everything that we discussed in terms of the parasympathetic nervous system, digestion and breathing and supplementation and how to do hit work and the difference between strength training and um, you know, doing things like walking and all that stuff. You know, just think about it, guys. Put it into its perspective. Create those habits. Create the environment. And if you haven't started doing it yet, it's never going to happen until you take step one. And if you want to take step one when it comes to your parasympathetic nervous system, which is very trainable, start with your sleep. Start with really getting the proper hygiene for sleep. And as I've shared with many of you guys, I have my own history with issues of sleep. So if that means that you need to um, adjust the whole bedroom, right? So obviously not watching TV in bed or before you go to bed and making sure that the room is cool enough. There's all these little tricks to make sure that you get quality sleep. Taping your mouth if you're a mouth breather. You gotta get to work, guys. It's your health, it's your body. It's your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest system. So remember, it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. So when you eat things, if you want 
the benefits of what you eat to be used by the body, then you better get your parasympathetic nervous system on point. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Talk to you soon.